What's up, YouTube? This is Bobby from Guitar Chalk, and we're going to do another review. We got um, we got Fender Play under our belts last time, and it's been a while since I've done any kind of video uh, online guitar lesson review, and I'd like to do them a little more often. Um, for some reason, they're just a little bit harder to get to, but once you sit down and start going through these things, it goes a lot quicker, it's a lot easier. Uh, I do have a written um, jam play review, which is what we're going to go over today, uh, but it honestly took me a lot longer than 30 minutes, which is probably what it's going to take me to get through this uh, on on a video format. So uh, the, the, the reason I think it's only going to take about 30 minutes is because I'm not going to go through all of this stuff. You see all these menu items. Um, this is, this is a logged in panel and there's just a bunch of stuff, but really what I, what I've found after, uh, kind of getting back into this over the last uh, couple hours, uh, is this, uh, tab right here, the lessons tab, there's four phases in here. That's pretty much all that matters. And I, not, not to say that, you know, the other stuff they provide doesn't matter, but it's all kind of predictable. You know, they have a live lessons section and. Um, they have a tools section, which is, you know, some scale stuff and metronome and tuner and all that kind of thing. And they have, um, I don't know, I guess this is their kind of their community boards, maybe a forum. Um, looks like they have some, uh, material and teachers and, uh, stuff like that. But, uh, really the only thing that matters in terms of actually reviewing jam play is right here, phase one through four. Uh, and if, if you, it's, I, I'm a little surprised they didn't highlight this more. Like the, the four phases, um, are really important and, and you have to, you kind of have to, uh, know where you're going to find them. Cause otherwise there's a lot here to, to distract you. So like they have their new courses and they've been doing a lot of this lately. These are, um, these are like kind of standalone, uh, um, really specific, uh, concepts that are being covered. So, um. And, and, you know, I haven't heard of really any of these people. Now, if you go down further, they have uh, more courses. And, you know, like they've got Phil Kagey down here. Um, Andy Wood might be a name you recognize. Uh, Gretchen Mann might be a name you'd recognize. Uh, but these are all still, uh, from what I understand, kind of standalone courses that Champlay puts together. Uh, and they're pretty good, but I'm not, I'm not going to review those here. I'm not going to... I don't really consider that part of the program necessarily. Like it's a good bonus, but you can actually, I think you can actually buy these. I don't know. Let's click on one and see if it's, let's go to Aaron Marshall's course. Let's see if it's available. Cause I know that you can, yeah. Okay. So it's all here. You can, um, you can go through it, uh, just kind of as a standalone course. And I know that if you don't have a membership, uh, you can actually buy, um, you can actually buy these courses, um, as, as a single download. So you don't have to get a membership, which is kind of cool. But, um, but we've got the membership. I've got an affiliate login here just to disclose how I'm doing this. I didn't buy this, uh, uh, account. I have bought accounts for jam play in the past and that's what I did my written review on. So if you want to go look at that, that's uh guitar chalk.com backslash, uh, jam play slash review. Um, and you can, uh, 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 look at the written version if you prefer that, but, um, this is kind of the same thing. It's, it's going to be all the, the same, uh, the same concept and, uh, the, the affiliate, um, account that they, that they gave me here is, is the same as a full membership. It's no different. Uh, in fact, if you go in and I might do this uh, at some point, uh, they actually have the base membership here as well, which is separate from a guitar membership. So if you were just to just to clarify, if you were to buy a membership, and I'll put a link in the uh, in the information section below the video. But if you were to buy a membership and uh, for guitar, and it, it would not include the base section. That's actually a separate section. But I guess for the affiliate um, account here, they've just included them both. So I, maybe I'll do a base review here in uh, in the next video. But for now, we're just going to try to get through some of, uh, of the lessons and we're just going to poke around a little bit. So I, uh, have, like I said, I, I, I used to have a paid account. I just kind of got back into this program to do the review. I just haven't used it in a while. So I'm going in a little bit cold. I'm haven't, I haven't poked around as much, but, 
Uh, bringing it back up, uh, one of the first things I notice is that not a lot has changed. Um, they they haven't done much with the interface, which is fine. That's never been uh, that's never really been their strong suit. Um, but all of their material is uh, is still really good, still really involved, kind of like that solid. Um, in what, where I, where I put them a lot is kind of in the intermediate. Uh, realm of of online guitar lessons so they're they're they got a lot for beginners but they got a lot uh probably a lot more if you're beyond the beginner stage i wouldn't call it advanced in in every sense of the word but it's definitely like, like you're going to get more out of this if you know a little bit of what you're doing already so uh the but but this is if, if you go up to their lessons they have phase one is just kind of the beginner material and so each one of these uh they they have it broken up so here's acoustic guitar there's um you know a handful of acoustic guitar course and then a handful of electric guitar and if you were to click on one um they all kind of they're, they're all kind of separate and they all kind of go about the beginner process in their own way. So, for example, let's just look at, I don't know, Jim Deeming. Let's look at his course. I don't think I've looked at his yet. So they, uh, the, the way it is structured and the way they, uh, they, the way they teach it, it, it sounds like this is just kind of a course that they've written themselves and, and, you know, almost kind of informally speak, sort of like I'm speaking now, kind of a podcast style presentation. Um, and it depends on the instructor, but, uh, they all go through the beginner, uh, the beginner material, um, covering concepts that, uh, just seem, it just seems like the way they would teach it if they were sitting down and teaching lessons, which is really cool. There's, there's not a uniform approach, um, but there is, you know, pretty good structure. So, you know, you'll get a lot of, you'll get your introduction, you know, like, like, uh, this guy goes over choosing a guitar, which is not necessarily going to be in say, I don't know, Eve Goldberg's course. So she is going to jump right. She has her introduction lesson and then she jumps right into learning the A chord. So if you click on one of these lessons, um, it's going to take you to the full screen, kind of video player which is um uh you know which kind of has everything you need here again it's not particularly updated it's not like you know the most cutting edge interface you're going to see um but it's fine it works and um the content as as I'll get to here shortly is really really solid so once you get in here um of course you have the introduction and I'll go ahead and start that just so you have something to watch um the Eve, Eve Goldberg is, uh, you're, you're not gonna be able to hear her because of the way I have the recording set up. Um, but let's, let's ask her introduction. She's just kind of yammering about stuff there. So, uh, on the, on the left side here where I'm scrolling now, you'll have, um, this is, this is, uh, what, are, what are the right words to use? I guess these are the, these are the, the chapters in in each of her courses so right now we're in learning the a chord and it's highlighted in red and then if you go over here to the right um these are all of they're calling these the scenes so you can see they're timed for like the introduction is 32 seconds the a chord here is just under six minutes and she's going to go through uh all of these and by the time you're done you have that little green progress tracker there you are you know technically ready to go on to the next chapter which in this case would be the e chord you know or if you don't feel like doing that obviously you can jump around and she has a ton of material in her course most of the courses aren't this long but if i guess the the best way to use jam play and the way they kind of have it set up is if you decide uh, like oh Eve Goldberg I kind of like her style she's teaching acoustic in a way that sort of resonates with me and I kind of understand and I'm interested in the way she's teaching it then you could go ahead and this could be your beginner course so you'll see that they have uh, they almost always have these four camera angles or at least three or four sometimes they uh, only have three depending on which instructor and which lesson you're doing but uh, but it's quite good, and and like I said, I'm not gonna play, um, I'm not gonna play sound, you know, I d part, partly because, um, you know, it is paid content, and I don't want to give away a ton of of what they're doing here. But uh, the 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 idea is that you, um, you know, you can you can get 
sort of acquainted with one of these instructors and and this can just kind of be your beginner's course and and the the reason that i think this is really handy is because you can sort of let me get back to the the lessons here you can sort of decide how you want to get through beginner material and and again what i would advise doing is just kind of going on here and looking at some of these instructors just kind of looking at their um at their lesson series so everything uh, you know this is let's see mark lincoln so he's you know like i mentioned earlier he's going to handle it a little bit differently than eve goldberg did who is going to handle it a little bit differently than the other people who are doing lessons on here uh and it's kind of unique like you know if you go um like if you go look at guitar tricks and guitar tricks is a great program it's probably the best program out there for beginners um, probably probably the best program overall but they they don't uh, like their beginner series uh, is is kind of static it goes through a static learning path and I think that can be good um, if if you're a beginner uh, one one thing about something like this is you're you're gonna have a little bit of if you have a hard time making choices this is gonna be like a little bit of a panic uh, set in for you because I mean there's a ton of stuff here to pick from um it, it, it just it just is not it's it's not a narrow focus you're going to have a lot of different ways to go about it um and that, that can be a strength and a weakness so you know i think i think you should give credit there uh where credit is due they've they've got a lot of different voices on here they've got a lot of different um kind of uh kind of different ways of, of looking at the same beginner's journey i guess for lack of a better word um but if you if you continue on they go into phase so so they don't have it broken up they don't actually have an intermediate uh category and what i mean by that is that you know most of the time you're going to see like a beginner intermediate advanced kind of breakdown of skill levels and they just have what they're calling phase two uh, and if you go into phase two they are going to call this advanced and genre specific lessons so you can sort it you can keep the genre based uh tag there or you can drop it down to skill based and this is sort of uh the the everything except a beginner so like if you were to go into i don't know let's go into the i was in the metal section earlier because i'm a bit of a metal guy so let's see what they have um if if you're if you're kind of beyond what you would consider you wouldn't consider yourself a beginner you would consider yourself a little bit more knowledgeable and a little bit uh, like you're you know trying to get into your own niche and your own style again you would have to make some choices here like this isn't this isn't a chronological like you know one two three four you know follow, follow along type thing you've got to decide okay what am I interested in learning about so you know if you go back into the metal uh, section let's say you're interested in metal and you click on um, toes and Abbasi's, uh, uh series here um, you're going to get basically a crash course in um, what toes and Abbasi is good at and you know I don't I don't follow I think he's I think he's uh, animals as leaders I think is his band and um i don't know a lot about them but but i know that he's you know an extremely talented guitar player and in 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 these lessons you're just going to learn a lot about what he does well so you know economy picking for example you can see i've already been in some of this and this this lesson is uh it's just under 15 minutes so this is kind of a long one and what what he'll what he'll do is just kind of really kind of informally again like i was mentioning earlier sort of in this kind of conversational tone he's just going to take you through uh economy picking and how he understands it so it's um it's very much like uh kind of just hearing his thoughts on how he plays uh, and again that can be good and bad like i said if you're someone who um wants a little more structure then this this probably isn't the best thing for you but if if you're if you're sort of self-assured and you've been playing for a while and you really want to get into some more detail um then this sort of thing is great i mean he's uh like the even if you just take uh tosin and and his approach it's uh, just as i was watching some of this it was really interesting to you know learn 
about how he understands picking and how he understands scales and how he, uh, you know, sort of thinks through that. Um, so just a couple quick things. They do have a little, which I thought was kind of weird. I, I liked this video when I watched it earlier. Uh, and they have a thumbs down bu button as well. I guess that's just for, you know, kind of for user feedback. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then they have a, a, a speed up, slow down option which is really cool i think uh most of the other sites have this as well um you can go all the way you actually go all the way down to 10 percent. that's just painfully slow um but for some of these like quick runs it can be really handy just to have that slow uh that slowed down look and then they have you know like i mentioned before they have the three different camera angles which is great that's i think a huge strength of, of jam play is that they do almost all their videos like this this is similar to what true fire does uh, then they just have the multiple angles there and um, this like I said this will change a little bit depending on which uh, which video series you're in but by and large you'll you'll, you'll usually have at least three uh, some some do four uh, but you're, you're gonna have at least three to work with and that's really helpful um, let's see what else but the this is the interface and kind of uh, I'm, I'm just taking this opportunity to talk a little bit about what you get with the video interface and this is this is the same for every video there's not it's not different for um, different courses but it, you kind of have the expected like the supplemental section uh, they're gonna have uh, all of his tabs and this can be a little bit wonky like just from a design perspective like it sometimes kind of breaks which is again, like I said, this is a little bit of an outdated design. I, I think they've had had it like this for a while, and it doesn't look bad, but you can definitely tell that um, they haven't really messed with it in a while. Um, but you know, there's just some little things there, and a lot of the lessons in the supplemental section, you'll actually get um, audio files, and some even have uh, Guitar Pro. Uh, tab files which are which are really cool if you haven't used guitar pro it's basically like a tab uh, just a, a tab uh, resource software and it's really powerful and if you um, if you download the file then you can just kind of upload it into the software and you can uh, kind of play along and listen to the tab and sort of follow along with it so then they have you know kind of just the the general they have a note section uh, which honestly can't can't ever really imagine using. Um, they have a comments section, which, you know, is pretty much, I don't want to say dormant. Um, yeah, there's just, there's just like the most recent one here is 2013. Um, that is more than six years ago. And that doesn't speak for every lesson, of course, but maybe some of the newer lessons have a little bit more uh, active comment section. Um, and then, of course, you can ask a question. Now, I don't know. Um, this says that uh, one of the jam play instructors will provide an answer. I don't think this goes to Tosin um, The You know, this was a this was a one and done thing for him. I, I assume that they recorded this and, you know, he's not he's not like answering mail or anything like that, which would be cool. But, you know, uh, that's not what's happening. Um, let's see the download lessons, I think. I don't know what ownership credits are. This seems like a new thing that because because you can add ownership credit. Let's see what this where this takes you. Since this is an affiliate account, I'm not sure what they're. Yeah, so you gotta if you want to download, you gotta you gotta pay up. They have a credit system for that, which I understand. Um, I know that Guitar Tricks lets you download. I think all of their lessons, if you have a membership, you can download them just whenever you want. Uh, and just kind of take them with you. Um, jam play is moving to this credit system which I'm not crazy about but um, if you have a membership honestly like I've never I, I've had memberships to a lot of these sites and I've never once downloaded a lesson I've just I've just never had to um, so you know that kind of is what it is you can you know just sort of take that for what it's worth so if we go back out that's that's going to kind of encompass all of the 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 skill and genre and beginner content so then they have phase three which is which is basically just their song section um and this song section is pretty good uh they it's not it's not as built up as guitar tricks really nothing there is no song resource out there um that that competes with the guitar tricks uh song section it's just far and away the best 
available. Um, the one thing that I do like about what Jamplay does here, if you go down, um, if you go down to some of these songs, like I, I was really into Stained way back in the day, and if you look at the Stained songs, you have um, da -da 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 -da. pull it up here. You have Stain's very own Mike Mushock looking, looking totally. I don't know. He just, he just looks kind of funny sitting there. Um, but he actually teaches it. All the Stain songs, you know, Mike will actually teach you. And um, I always liked his baritone stuff. He's a really kind of cool, interesting guitar player. Um, now, now these. Uh, the song lessons are all done in this uh, kind of this format where you have you have two different looks at the fretboard you have the one that they're calling the student view and then you have the one uh, it's called the instructor view where you're kind of looking down as though you were playing it uh, and then they have a couple more uh, smaller looks there one of, of the right hand and uh, again this is this is really kind of a I like the way they do this like this hasn't this hasn't really changed um it's been like this for as long as I can remember as long as I've been using this program um and it, and it is probably one of the more thorough approach to camera angles so you know it's good I mean it's helpful like you know I find myself um you know kind of bouncing back and forth between these different views and uh, it just kind of gives you a lot to watch. Now, again, if you are, maybe you're a little bit ADD and you kind of get distracted easily, this might be sort of sensory overload for you. I don't know. It, it just kind of depends on the person, but, um, I think it's really good. I think it's really helpful. And, you know, like you would expect for, you know, any good paid song lesson, they're all licensed and, uh, they're going to go through each individual chunk of the song. Like nothing is they're not stripped down versions unless I think there are some maybe simplified versions of certain songs, but it's all, um, it's all the, the full kind of, uh, like the licensed version of the song is what you're going to get. And then of course you have, um, let's see if they have, yeah, there's, so there's your guitar pro, that little GPX there. Those are guitar profiles. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, and th this is another area where I think jam play really gives a lot to their members is just with the supplemental content so you've got like your tabs and uh, you know all that sort of expected thing but then you've also got PDFs you can download you have the guitar profile which you can uh, upload if you have the software and you have backing tracks as well as drum and bass which is parsed out um, so you can play along with just the drum and bass track which is awesome like I, I th this is this is better supplemental material than um, than any other site uh it, the jam play just kind of owns this one so um and and obviously like the 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 amount of supplemental material will vary depending on the song you're doing i don't i don't think all of them include guitar pro or um or kind of separated uh isolated backing tracks like this uh but a lot of them do and you know just overall <laughs> They uh, they've done a great job of getting, you know, getting some some recognizable uh, instructors in here. Like I think if you go down, let's see if I can find. Yeah, so Tozen Abasi is going to do a couple songs. The guy from Guar. I don't know if that's weird that they ended up in here. I'm not sure. Not sure how that happened. Um, let's see. Let's see, there's some Nirvana. This is kind of a kind of a smattering of bands and it and it's it's they're they're not unusual groups there's a little bit of you know like i said the the guar inclusion is a little bit weird um like i i don't really know how they got in there but um i think there is some so chevelle you know you got some recognizable uh, groups and they used to have now now what's weird and what i'm wasn't really expecting to see is they have so there's the collective soul songs here um but there is no uh joel kosh joel kosh or kashi however you pronounce his name he was collective souls guitar player for several years back in the day and 
he taught some of these and now he is not on here. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. That's kind of that's kind of disappointing because I was a big Collective Soul fan back in the day. Yeah, they still have Flatus, but they don't have Joel. That's a bummer. But anyway, this just gives you an idea of so Jim Deeming. I don't know if he so it, the, this is something that you, I might be a little bit leery of it. it, it this is just a, an an instructor you know, putting some of his original songs on there. I don't know. Or maybe he's, maybe he's a well-known uh, artist. I don't know. I've never heard of Jim Deeming. So I'm not sure what that is, but, um, you know, you've got some John Mayer. I got a Jimi Hendrix song. Jimi Hendrix songs are weirdly difficult to license. I know that from, um, uh, working with guitar tricks a little bit. They, the, for some reason, it's really difficult for Jimi Hendrix, uh, songs to get licensed for stuff like this. So it's kind of the the licensing thing is always something you got to pay attention to. Uh, it, it's it it really impacts how these companies can get music into their libraries. But I would say, in gen generally speaking, like like I'd give this a this song section a B minus. I, I forget how I rated it um, in the review. Like I said, if you want to check out the written review, that's all down in the info section. But um, yeah, it's it's not bad. It's just like I said, it's not nearly as stocked as I mean. I, I think Guitar Tricks has over a thousand songs. Like it's a ton of music, and you know there there's a lot here too. But it it doesn't it doesn't compare to that. Uh, I think where I think if songs are your priority, this is not the best option for you. There's just a lot more over Guitar Tricks, and I'll I'll put a link um, to their trial as well. Uh, that's, um, these two programs are, are, I, I've used them and, and I think they're both great. Uh, and, and they do, um, help support, uh, guitar chalk. So check those out. And, uh, th like I said, if it's songs that you're going for, I think guitar tricks is the better option, but you know, with, with jam play, what you're, where it's really going to have the most appeal is, uh, with some of, some of these more nuanced topics. Like there's just a lot of, uh, you know, and if you go in here to some of these individual courses, um, you can see that like uh, some of the stuff being covered here is just really uh, kind of narrow in its focus and really interesting. So like, uh, you know, with this, uh, with Tyler Grant's course here, if you're, if you're into this, um, you know, sort of this country, um, th this kind of country approach to, uh, um, electric guitar and and some of the technique that goes along with that and some of the um, some of the different concepts that you can really get into um, then this sort of thing would be super interesting to you um, it's just I think the problem that, that I might have is that it's it's gonna feel a little bit hit or miss if you're not just buying one of these individual courses because they caught your eye, like if you just sign up for a membership and then you log into Jam Play, you're you're gonna you're gonna have to make some decisions about where you want to go. Um, and and I would I would say you'd be better off doing that if you already sort of have the beginner concepts under your under your belt. So I mean I, I've been. Um, Gosh, I started playing guitar when I was nine years old, and I'm 33 at the time of recording this. So, like, I can learn a ton of stuff here, uh, and and I and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go into these uh, menus without having an idea of what I already know and what I want to learn. You know, so for example. Like I know what I'm interested. In. I know what styles of music I'm interested in. So. Like I, I know right off the bat that something like, you know, the finger, Trevor Gordon Hall here is fa his finger style melodies course. Like that's probably not going to be my cup of tea. And, you know, it looks like a great course. Uh, not, I, I'm sure it's excellent. I mean, look, this guy's obviously awesome, um, but it wouldn't really it wouldn't really help me because this isn't the kind of music I play now. Obviously, there's a lot here you could learn, and they do a great job. Like these are, honestly, these are probably a little bit. You can see the interface here has gotten um, 
an upgrade. And I, what I would like to see is I would like to see them kind of take this kind of care and and detailed approach to um, the rest of their content. Now it looks like you know 4K is a fairly new um, uh, fairly new standard. So I, I assume that maybe some of the the newer courses they're doing you know they have it says here they have six camera angles which is awesome actually i want to go see if that's they really have six camera angles explore the course here we go but i would assume that that with these newer uh lessons they're gonna be able to have uh you know nicer cameras and they're gonna have um you know maybe more angles that's what i'm trying to figure out here so let's see if let's see if all that translates so this is the actual course Let's start at lesson three. Yeah, so the 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 splash page is, you know, a little bit more. They do a little bit more than the like this is this is just the same, uh, 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 the same format and the same design. You can tell it's a much uh, clearer video. Yeah, it's in four K, so it looks it looks like a really clear picture. I want I want the six camera angles. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's still just four. Just kind of looking at this a little bit. What's this up here? Nothing there. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I'm getting a little scatterbrained, but it looks good. You know, it's a good, um, it's obviously a good course, but like I said, I wouldn't be able to benefit from that. Um, just because that's not the type of music I play. So again, I would reiterate, you have to know what you want to do uh, if you go into a jam play membership. If you're not sure, um, like I said, I, I would check out the free trial. There's a link in the info. Again, you can check it out through there. And I think it's seven days, which is not the longest in, in the industry, but it's enough time to look at some of these and figure out what would interest you figure out maybe you'd be better off just buying um some of these standalone courses so you know if it were me um you know i'm i'm a rock and metal guy so something like uh something like this course would would catch my eye a little bit and feel like there'd be something there i could learn from and um that's just kind of what jam play is like jam play is uh they're they're really good with some of this niche really specific uh type of material and uh, if you're in the intermediate or advanced camp like i think it's still a great program um it's it's not super expensive like i think uh shoot i'm blanking on what the price is let's see if we can go find that probably not because i'm in a i'm in a paid account well, let's log out here if we can see if i can find the price any good review should have something about price let's see if i can find it here i think it's 20 bucks a month uh, yeah, they've done a lot with their home, uh, with their home pages here and, uh, some of their, um, kind of their landing pages for these courses. And again, I think if you, let's see, like, can we buy? Yeah. Yeah. You can per So this purchase option here lets you buy just this course and yeah, so this course by itself for download and, and lifetime access to it is $30. Um, and this could be helpful for, I mean, if you want to, if you're a teacher, you know, or if you're just, you know, just really interested in this topic, uh, it's, they, and they tell you kind of exactly what you get um, uh, just in terms of content. You have 30 lessons. Uh, they're touting the camera angle and 4K thing there, all of the, you know, you get the PDF and the Guitar Pro stuff, and that's really cool. So, so you can buy these uh, on their own. It looks like thirty dollars is the going rate. Let's check another one. See if I can see if I can confirm the price tag. Twenty nine ninety five. I would assume no. Okay, so this one's fifty. So yeah, I guess it depends on how much material is in there. That would make sense. Uh, still says thirty lessons. Don't know why it's more expensive, guys. That is a little bit weird. Yeah, this is all new stuff for Jam Play. This is kind of looks like the direction that they're going more so than filling in their um, their existing content. 
uh, you know, almost more so like, like what True Fire has done with a lot of standalone courses. Uh, but if you do, like I said, I was trying to get you guys a price. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I have a page that. Let's see here. Well, let's just go to the page that I set up. Jam play cost guitar chalk. Should bring it up. Yeah, so it's 1995. Yearly membership is 160 or $13 a month. So, yeah, it, it's like like I said, you are you get a lot of stuff, you get a lot of different uh different choices and you're you you might have a little bit of sensory overload, but uh, but it's a good program still I would still recommend it if you're in the intermediate camp if you have a little bit of guitar knowledge under your belt uh, it's a it's a great tool to kind of like you know get you into playing something more interesting and to kind of expanding your uh, uh, your knowledge base so like I said check out the links in the description uh, there's a couple uh, links to my reviews that I've done uh, my written reviews and hit the subscribe button and if you have any questions leave them in the comments i definitely have an easier time answering there than i do email so uh thanks for listening guys and we'll catch you next time